Well, hello there, chums. Tis I, Captain of the Steam. And today, chums, it's this morning, and it means cup of tea time with Captain Steve. Oh, I haven't got my front face in lights on, have I? But then again, well, it's quite bright and airy in here, but let's turn them on anyway and see what we've got. There we go. That's a little bit better, a bit warmer, isn't it? Brilliant day. Anyways, what are we talking about today, people in the view of us, you might wonder. We're talking about Hogwarts legacy people in the view of us so let's jump on over and let's take a quick look see at their sort of um youtube page now let's go do that boom and there i am on their youtube page right now hogwarts legacy when this first sort of aired and i saw the original trailer and you saw people running around i mean let, let me play you the original trailer actually that's, that's i think it must be this one it must be this one let me just hit you the reveal trailer Magic, both beautiful and powerful, binds together our long history. That common bond we share is the legacy of Hogwarts. Now it is time to add your own story to these hallowed halls and quite possibly shape the future of the wizarding world. Every corridor, every portrait, every stone in this castle tells the story of witches and wizards who came before. Here you will meet lifelong friends and grow into your own magical abilities in the classrooms of the world's most talented professors. And while your journey begins at Hogwarts, Brewing potions, taming fantastic beasts, and mastering spells. There is a larger world beyond these walls. A world filled with dangers you can't yet imagine. An ancient knowledge long gone from this world. Strange and mysterious talent you possess may be the key to unlocking this dormant power. Your potential is limitless. But what form will it take? The journey ahead will reveal what you stand for. The choices you make now will define the legacy of Hogwarts. Uh, okay. All right. This is this is a little bit embarrassing. Um, I was going to tell you all the reasons why I don't think I'll be getting Hogwarts, but after watching that freaking trailer again, people, oh, it looks freaking marvelous, doesn't it? But the only things that are sort of making me hesitant about picking up Hogwarts um, Legacy is during that trailer you saw these two sort of griffins flying over a landscape and it looked like yourself and another player on those griffins. I honestly thought this was going to be a multiplayer affair. I, th I thought we were going to take to the sky and explore together and all that sort of shenanigans. Now, the beauty of Harry Potter when I used to watch the old movies... Here we go. Here's, here's the bit that I'm on about. Let me just uh, play that again. I'll just mute it, though, so I can talk over the top of it. Let me just go back to my reaction camera. Here we go. Boom. And play. This bit here. So, yeah, it was only a quick snippet. But for me, that said, this game has got multiplayer. But it hasn't got any sort of multiplayer. And the movies, you know, it was all about the relationship of Harry and his two compondres, you know, Hermione and the Ginger Kid. Uh, Ron Weasley, was it? Something like that? Yeah, I'm not a massive super fan of Harry Potter. Yes, I watched them all, but it was their relationship and how it grew and how those characters grew. I mean, you actually saw them physically grow from being kids all the way up to freaking adults. But this doesn't seem to have a multiplayer aspect. 
Even if they implemented something a bit like Dragon's Dogma's pawn system, where you make another classmate that's going to accompany you, but then maybe other players could recruit your classmate if they like the looks of them. They go away on their adventures, and then maybe when you're doing a quest, if it's gone on that side quest, your character can say, oh, you know what, I know how to do this, follow me. And off they go and they hit the magic wall or whatever. There could have been a multiplayer aspect brought into this. It's just... You know, it feels a little empty. I mean, the world looks amazing. The world does look freaking marvelous. So if we go back over to their YouTube channel, here we go, let me go back over to their YouTube channel, and I'll I show you exactly what I mean by this world that they've built. It looks freaking amazing. It really does. Pause that for a second. Go back to my reaction cam. There we go. Actually, I'll do it that way. Okay, so over on here, you've got all these sort of, they almost look like bloody screen safers when you click these videos. And yes, this is the Slytherin fireplace, the Hufflepuff fireplace, the Ravenclaw fireplace, the Gryffindor fireplace. Oh, okay, the game's got different fireplaces. Magical, lovely, but <laughs> they just look like screen savers. It's almost like the actual creators of this are more into how the game looks rather than how the game plays. I don't know. I mean, they have put out quite a lot of gameplay, but when you watch the actual gameplay trailers, it's just them walking around and looking at fireplaces. I mean, look at this place. This just looks awesome. This sort of like wooded area, this autumn morning here. That does look really, really lovely, doesn't it? I mean, let's just hit that up. Let's have a quick look at that, shall we, people, in, in full. I've opened it in another tab. Made that nice and big. Let's have a quick look at this. I mean, look at the world. The world looks pretty nice. And to know that you can actually walk around in these places and fully investigate them and then use little spells to uncover stuff, it's an explorer's sort of wet dream, isn't it? But at the same time, um, you know, there's going to be a lot of people hitting this up. There's going to be a lot of content out there. And I imagine everything that can be found is going to be found before the game even blinking launches because there's bound to be some sort of early access given to some people and there's probably going to be spoilers abundant everywhere when this actually drops Hold on, i click this because i like the look of the actual wooded area are we going to see inside oh we are going to see inside of the wooded area just taking a sweet time getting there let's have a look at the wooded area sweet i mean this is me in a nutshell people i i've got the patience of a freaking gnat and although this does look freaking beautiful and majestic and wonderful, if it hasn't got a giant freaking beastie meandering through these woods, yeah, okay, it's a lovely wood, but okay, what do I do there? It's that sort of thing that's is lacking for me right now. There's nothing saying, oh yeah, this is going to pull me in, this is going to keep me excited, this is going to keep me wanting to play it. The only thing that is, is there is a, there's sort of like an area that you can build yourself and, and, you, the things you find you can place in that area like a little buildable area of your own but then if there's no other players that can go there and see your little buildable area what's the freaking point you know the only person you're pleasing is yourself i like games where you get to show the things that you've got all the cosmetics you've gained other players can see them and go oh well i haven't got that how did they get that one you know that sort of thing and because there is no multiplayer aspect it, it just doesn't really jump out at me and say i mean it just feels like a missed opportunity and this channel itself doesn't do i don't think hogwarts legacy many favors really when it comes down to it because a lot of it is just sort of screen savory type cack that you, you don't really overly want to watch you know um, let's go to videos and when you scroll down there there is a gameplay showcase now i just hovered over that and all i saw was people talking i, I didn't see any sort of gameplay but oh there is some gameplay in there so here we go let's jump on over to some gameplay which again it just looks like you're walking around and when they're actually doing the flying gameplay the amount of popping was seriously large but i don't know as beautiful as it looks and as amazing as it looks. I mean, look, you can see some pigeons flying around over there. Oh, here we go. He's on the broomstick. And you see the popping down there with the actual character appearing outside of that house and all that sort of stuff. The popping seems to be very noticeable. And whether that's going to hit the immersion level, I don't really overly know. I mean, I don't think he's flying at full pace because I've seen worse popping parts. And also some of the frame rate when you, when you move, the blur is a little bit... Mm, I don't know whether that's going to transpire over in the final release. I mean, this is gameplay footage, work in progress footage. So, you know, it it is what it is. 
But at the same time, I'm not really seeing stuff that jumps out at me and says, oh, yes, I, I definitely want to jump in and do it. I mean, flying on the broomstick, I think, is going to be fun, maybe for maybe the first half an hour or so of doing it. And at least it's fast travel. You can get to places a bit quicker. But then with that level of popping, is it just going to be a little bit jarring? I don't know. Um, it does look nice. I mean, the more I watch the gameplay, the footage, the more I'm thinking, I want to I want to jump into this world. I want to experience this world. But if the world, I mean, where's the creatures? You know, where's, should be a griffin or something or something. There's, there's not. It's just trees and bushes and grass. Okay, well, I've seen all that in Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> you know, and it's supposed to be a magical freaking world. And all I'm seeing is bloody people going for little walks for no reason. I mean, where's, where's the creatures? Where's the monsters? I don't know. I'd, so it, it's that sort of thing. I mean, knowing that you might be able to bump into one is, is something, I guess. But at the same time, to me, it just feels like swathes and swathes of beauty with no sort of level of come and investigate me um, jumping out. I mean, I, I haven't seen a place that I've gone, oh, I want to investigate that. I mean, there's looks like a rundown castly thing over here on the right. Is he going to pay any attention to it? Let's have a quick look. See. Yes, he is. Oh, no. Um, no, just going to ignore that. We're going to go to a crypt instead. No, we're not. We're not going to go to that either. You know, show me some actual freaking combat or something. Something that's going to make me go, oh, brilliant. Okay, yeah, I'm going to dive into that. I'm going to be slaying that creature. Not too much, to be fair. I mean, this is... It's, it, okay, fine. You've shown us the navigation. Show us what we're going to do. Show us what we're going to do, mate. Freaking get into it. Let's... Let's just speed this over a bit. Now, I've seen a lot of interactions where you're talking to other characters. The lip syncing doesn't seem that great. Okay, great. Well, we've just swapped our broomstick for a flying freaking horse. What's the difference? What's the difference? You're still flying somewhere at the same bloody speed. Okay. Now, okay. Now there's some hot air balloons. Are you going to interact with those hot air balloons? Are they something? What do they do exactly? <laughs> this is a gameplay trailer. Where's the play? I can see the game, but I can't see any playing going on. This is just navigation. Heck, this should be blinking part of the tutorial. And, um, yeah, okay, now we're getting somewhere. Oh, oh, I thought we were. Okay, so I think he's on foot now. Let's see if we Oh, he's not on foot. His horse is no longer flying. He's walking around on the horse. But, uh, I don't know. It just doesn't just jump out to me. I mean, the game trailer looked freaking ace. But the actual gameplay stuff that they've been putting out there, it is them just walking a blinking bout. I mean, are we going to see some combat in here? Okay, brilliant. Okay, come on, let's have a look at a bit of the combat. Now, there are quite a lot of spells that you can put onto your quick menu -y thing that's down in this uh, bottom corner here, and you can set them out however you want. So there's a bit of customization to be done there. But I think the way that that would sort of play into each other is if you had another mate here right now, or even a classmate NPC that you've created yourself, like the pawn system, like I mentioned, at least you could give them some other t um, other sorts of spells and work on that so you can parry off of one another. So you could have them mainly to give you support or buff you or to tank you. I mean, this is quite nice. I do quite like the spells that I'm seeing. Don't get me wrong. It does look pretty cool. But a lot of this sort of stuff that we're seeing, it kind of reminds me of that Star Wars game where you've got a little robot on your shoulder. A lot of the sort of spells that he's doing is very in, in keeping with what we've seen in sort of like that Jedi First Order game or whatever it was, you know? So... I don't know, I'm just not seeing anything that's mind-blowing when it comes to the actual combat and the actual gameplay itself. I mean, it does look kind of nice, but at the same time, is it worth paying the price tag that this is actually priced at? I don't know, because I don't think I'm seeing anything overly too original. And to hear that we're not going to be able to do Quidditch, that it hasn't got gobstones in there, it hasn't got any sort of like little mini-games, the fact that there's no multiplayer in here... Just sort of makes me think, well, there's quite a few missed opportunities and a few missed tricks in placement of perhaps things that look like, like nice little screensavers at times. It does look nice. The world looks nice. I love this cape with the skulls on it. That looks freaking awesome. But again, although that you look awesome, who's going to see this other than you? It'd be nice. I mean, if your classmate, you could dress them up and you could change their customizations when they get hired by other people. That would have been great. The pawn system of Dragon's Dogma would have worked really well with this game. It really would. 
Yeah, I'm not seeing anything that sets this aside from other large titles. It looks like a rinse and repeat and a reskin of other AAA titles. I'm not seeing anything that breaks the mold here, people, is what I'm trying to say to you. It just feels like it's a game that I've already played to a roundabout certain degree anyway. I mean, these are all great, but you're playing, you're fighting against sort of human-sized characters here, and some of them look a little bit spongy, to be honest. I mean, the amount of times he has to clout them with spells before they actually finally give up the ghost it's a little bit is it too much or is it just about right i don't know i don't know about the balance i think i'm going to get bored of this rather quickly it looks kind of repetitive in a roundabout way and it doesn't look like the actual main character is getting overly challenged i mean where is his health bar where is his health bar i mean i'm seeing this all up here but that's the bad guys i can't actually see where oh it's down here this little green bar is it or is that his magic I don't know. I don't know which is his health meter, but he doesn't seem to be challenged by this at all or anything like that. But then again, you are a powerful wizard, so that's maybe how you need to feel. But to me, it, it just looks like it's, it's very similar to what I've already seen in countless other games. So, you know what? For me, I think what I'm going to be doing is looking at first impression reviews. And if the first impression reviews and the first hour of gameplay isn't enticing enough um, for me to actually pick up this title, then I might. I might get it. But for now, I, I don't think this one is for me. Mainly because I'm not the biggest Harry Potter fan in the world. And two, I just feel that there's a lot of missed opportunities in the world. As nice and as beautiful as it looks, to me it looks like it's a little bit empty in a roundabout way i do know that there's reveal spells and all that sort of stuff and there's going to be lots of hidden things and probably things that people aren't going to find for months and then when they do come across them it's going to be wow type moments at least i hope that's the case i mean i can't hand on heart even say that that's the case so for me yeah i'm going to be giving this one a little bit of a miss at launch i'm going to watch it for probably a month but by then you know all the content's going to be out there it's already going to be covered so is it a game that i play offline and maybe you know do a review of it i don't know i don't know i really don't know it's it's quite an expensive title to do that on it's i had a lot of excitement for this and the excitement has been slowly dwindling the more i see it some videos i see them and i'm going yeah oh, i want to jump back in it's like the trailer if i watch the trailer again you've got me freaking sold it's got giant dragons in it. it's got giant freaking werewolfy creatures it's got intrigue it's got interest it's got secret walls it's got all sorts of stuff and then you watch these gameplay trailers and you're like okay that's a nice fireplace all right okay well that that, that, that bit of combat's quite nice and then you look at some of the other things like the ground textures and you're like oh okay that that, that doesn't look quite so nice there does it you know, and picking up barrels and throwing them at stuff. It's like we're back in Donkey Kong Country or something. It's it's done and dusted, basically. And I would like to say that it's bringing something new to the table, but I honestly don't think it is. Um, so, yeah, that, that's my take. That's my take on it. I mean, it's like even the dodging inside of this game. I mean, I saw that he's got a couple of spells where you can put a shield around you, but most of the time it's roly-poly, roly-poly, roly-roly-poly. And uh, while you're rolling, you're invincible. And that just seems to be the done thing on all sorts of titles at the moment, doesn't it? I mean, when's the last time you've seen somebody do that in real life? <laughs> oh, that would make a Jackie Chan movie interesting, wouldn't it? Anyway, people, I'm, I'm going to end off now. But um, yeah, it is a title that I'm going to be watching on launch and uh, making a decision after I've seen other people spend their money on it. I, I don't feel I want to spend my money on this one. Um, not that much anyway. I mean, we're talking like 60 odd pounds or something for this, which is which is a lot of money for. I know it's a triple A title. I know it's going to be a big game. I know you're probably going to get your amount of gameplay out of it because it's probably going to have 40 hours plus or something inside of game. I mean, I don't know, but that's a, that's a to guess, which is is good time for your buck, I guess. I guess. But um, no, just I just don't feel the magic that I did when I watched the, the um trailer for the first time. I don't see that magic in some of this gameplay. Maybe they've done that on purpose, not to spoil things for people out there, but it would have been nice to have seen something a little bit more juicier than a couple of goblins and humans being thrown about the place and barrels being lobbed at them. But anyway, people, in the viewerverse, that's my take, and uh, take what you will with that. I know there's a load of controversy going on about this game at the moment, about, you know, boycotting it and all that sort of stuff. All I'd say to those people, if you're worried about the politics inside of a game in sort of area... 
just don't bring it into it. I play games to escape from the politics and the antics of the world. And what I would say is this game development company, Avalanche or whoever's done this, they bought the license. They paid money to, you know, J.K. Rowling to make this game and make this game the way that they want to make it. And from what I understand in the character actual design tool, when you're making your own character, there's no gender in there. So, you know, you, you just make a character. You don't say whether it's male or female, if that really matters to you guys and the viewer of us. But I, I know that a lot of the controversy is around things that, you know, J.K. Rowling said about transgender. Well, it's obvious that Avalanche haven't got the same opinions as J.K. Rowling. They just love the universe and they've built this game. They've paid a license to build this game and boycotting it is going to damage that studio from making any further titles, not damage J.K. Rowling. She's already got her freaking money, people. She's already been paid for the license for them to make this game. So you're not hurting J.K. Rowling. <laughs> you're just not. You're hurting a games company that loves the Harry Potter world. And I'm sure you love the Harry Potter world too. So if you want to support this games company, this studio, grab this. And if you like the Harry Potter world, grab this because you're going to love it. Because this is definitely a fan-made game for fans. So if you're a Harry Potter fan, which I'm not overly a fan, I liked the films, but they were kind of on in the background. I could have left them, really. I mean, they were okay, but I, I, yeah, I'm not a massive Harry Potter fan. I'm a Star Wars fan. I like sci-fi more than fantasy, but I do like fantasy worlds. And the one that Harry Potter sort of conjured up was a nice one, but I think I was a little bit too old to get on the Harry Potter bus firmly, you know? Uh, my nieces and nephews loved it. And they were the ones watching it. I was kind of just, you know, playing on my phone while it was on in the background. But there we go, people. That's my synopsis of it. Don't get drawn into all the... Um, the politics and the rigmarole um, and, and the boycotting and all that sort of stuff. If you like the look of this, get it. If, if you're like me and you're not really a Potter fan and you don't see anything overly original with this title, maybe don't. Wait for it to, to hit a sale. And that's probably what I'm going to do. Pick it up in a sale and then maybe do a review of it then. But then, you know, everybody else would have said what they had to say about it. But for me, that's my take. Until next time, people. Oh, fudging heck. I've got to drink my tea. I got too carried away with this one. Look, I've still got a freaking full mug. Well, I'm going to have a little, little dip of this. It's still warm. It's still good. It's still good. I can still drink it. Okay, cheery bye people, I'm going to finish this, and uh, yeah, have a good one, goodbye goodbye, and goodbye again. <laughs>